So you, I, and the American people will pay for the bank bailouts, whether it's due rapid inflation, because as we all know, they're continuing to print more money, which is devaluing the U.S. dollar, which means more of our purchasing power erodes over time. Now remember, inflation is the expansion of the money supply. So or in order for there to be disinflation, money has to be taken out of the system. And however, as we all know, the problem is the exact opposite is happening. And this administration is just in love with spending money. Now, the second thing that could happen, uh, to be honest with you, is that there are fake bail-ins. And which the bank just takes the depositors' money, your money, my money, and you know they would do this to cover their debts and prevent a collapse within the system. So now, how did we get here with all this sticky inflation? Well, the easy answer is the Federal Reserve. In particular, it was actually you know former Fed Chairman Janet Yellen who kept interest rates at zero for virtually the entire time that she served as chairman. We had such a big bubble because of these low interest rates and quantitative easing. And, you know, she <laughs> had a big contribution to that. So, therefore, all these banks have underwater long-term treasuries and mortgage-backed securities. And as a result of that, the banking system is, you know, essentially a house of cards and most of these banks are, in fact, actually insolvent. And Janet Yellen, again, is partially the reason for the present state of affairs because it couldn't be less sound. So unless you're someone that's been sleeping under a rock, I'm sure most of us know the economy is literally imploding before our own eyes. Inflation will only continue to get worse because the Fed has already returned to quantitating easing, whether they met it or not. Uh, you know, by printing new money, they are bailing out all of these banks and adding mortgages and government debt to their already bloated balance sheets. So in, a, in other words, you know, the Fed's balance sheet will increase, the money supply will increase, and the consumer prices will unfortunately continue to rise. So moreover, when... President Biden, you know, some people call him Joe Biden. I like to call him Joe Lydon because that's all he does lie. But anyways, when he says that you don't have to pay for the bank bailout, he's lying. You know, you will pay through higher prices. Uh, when he says everyone's bank account is now safe, he's, you know, lying again. Your bank account will be eroded in value <laughs> due to inflation, which is, you know, at a greater time now ever than before. Uh, therefore, even if your bank doesn't fail uh, and you don't lose all your money, the value of, of the money uh, will de decrease. It's a, you know, a lose-lose situation uh, for, for the American people. So the reason why some of these banks failed, including, you know, Silicon Valley Bank, and for a signature bank is that they operated in, you know, in a far artificially low interest rate and quantitating easing environment for a decade. So, you know, these distortions were caused by the Federal Reserve's artificial suppression of interest rates, which caused financial institutions to take incredible risk uh, through making regulations. The U.S. government has also encourage these banks to load up on treasuries and mortgages through favorable accounting. Since they did not have to take, you know, a haircut on these assets or mark them up as they would for other assets, uh, you know, as they were losing value, they, they pretended that there had been no losses. In other words, the whole thing was a result of bad monetary policy and physical policy. So, in, in a matter of fact, cryptocurrency was created in response to the 2008 financial crisis. As investors feared, inflation would be a result from all this money printing, which it has been, of course, as we all know. And, you know, satellites just only the beginning 
of the money printing. However, I feel or believe that those who turn to Bitcoin and other cryptos as an alternative to fiat currencies or even as a store of value or inflation hedge were mistaken. In my opinion, they were suckered into a bubble, or, you know, in other words, they bought the fool's gold. You know, a lot of money is going to be lost in that space, and a lot of companies that are involved in crypto and blockchain are going to lose money. Many of those companies were, in fact, banked by Silicon Valley Bank, and so that was another problem, and other tech companies for that money these loans are going to default because the companies have no they have no profits uh, in fact they have huge losses so I hope now that you have a better understanding or perspective of what I mean when the American people are going to be paying uh, you know for the bank bailouts so now with that being said of course the following is only for entertainment purposes only. I'm not a financial advisor. So with that being said, I cannot give you financial advice. But I do want to leave you something before I do in this video. So how can you, uh, the American people, win this battle with all this raging inflation? Well, let me show you something. Now... This has been money for over 5,000 years. It's never lost its value. It's never going away. It's going to be here forever. What I'm doing is um, placing my money, placing my bets into real money, God's money, and it's going to be silver and gold. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next time.